of you, well, most of you I do. Another block that has a, a L and an N. And right here you got plus, plus, minus, minus. You see that? This is your power supply. Right there is, uh, uh, what did I say the L and the N stand for? Line and neutral. So do me a favor, go ahead and wire up your, your extension cord that you have there. Go ahead and wire it up in there, put, put the line in between there. We take off all of our lights and stuff? Take it off. When you see a plus and a minus in a power supply or anywhere, that means DC voltage only. When you see L and N, that means alternating voltage only. So the PLC, you see L and N right here, that means uh, alternating. That means that the circuit has that squiggly line there. You know, that's the alternating. This one's direct current. So nothing goes there but direct current or DC voltage. On your PLC it says 24 volts DC. So where is it going to get 24 volts DC? These things convert it for you. The power supply. Remember, DC voltage. Bring it to your first part that you normally open. Go back to any one you want. I did number four. You can do whatever you want. Just whatever you want. So I want to rice. Six, I think you can it. Six rice. Yeah. Let me put number one. Let me put number six. You can do any one you want. Here, you're gonna bring from line. This blue from line. From your line, you're gonna bring power to. Uh, I'm gonna use Q1, and then from Q1, you go to one of my lights. Put a light. And then from there, you mix a complete circle to your end. See what I mean? 
Make sure you make the complete circle. The two of you have already started playing with this. If you press escape, it'll let you escape. If you press up or down, stay up and down. Start to do it from here. Now, like I said, you can go in here and you can go into ladder and hit OK. Like I say, it'll tell you exactly what program's in there. You can go in here, if there's a program, you can hit delete, it'll start deleting things. You can, uh, right here where it says select, that's a email. That you can put in your, your program. Like, uh, that, that big eye stands for normally open. You can go with your cursor, click it again, until you see lines. You can go to the very end. Click it and give me Q1. Now, on my part, on my part, well, eventually I'm showing this to you, you know, uh, you know it's going to, if, if I were to give you my simulation of it, it's going to say input number one is lighting up uh, Q1. On my other one, when I wired it, it didn't do that, right? But I can hit my simulation. Let me show you. I'm going to go escape, hit run. So as you can see there, the program that I did was go, when I put my input, it started my output. Now, I don't know if y'all tried already, for those of you who already tried to program it. If you program in there and you want to change something, it will not let you change unless you stop the program. It will not let you. I don't know if y'all tried it already, but it will not let you do it. And like, like I said here, you know, I can get, I can get uh, input number seven or whatever, input number whatever, and go back to ladder. I can uh, go input. Okay, make sure I stop it. Before I can go in there and change anything.
now I can go get my numbers here, go to So here in my ladder program, I put my input number four to turn on output number one. So I can go back here, hit run, hit OK, yes. Now I can just click on number four, boom, it turns out number one. I did not have to change any, I did not have to change any wiring. On this one, I did over a simulator. I did, but like I said, you can you can put it on either one of those and reprogram it to turn on there, turn on there, or whatever. Okay. Whatever you put in, you can turn on uh, turn on the other outputs. So go ahead and play with it and get get, get familiarized with it. We're gonna be doing we're gonna get into it a little bit heavy after after. 